everyone I have another mermaid video and I chose to do a spiral nail because I know all of you love when I do spiral nails not but whatever I love them I've already applied the Dashing Diva nail guards to all of my nails and I extended the nail bed on my ring nail because that's the nail I'll be doing the spiral nail on and I've also glued on stiletto tips and all of my other nails. Now I'm going to show you how I do, how I elongate the nail bed area on my thumbnail. I place the first bead of acrylic where I want the longest part of the nail bed to be and then I add more beads of acrylic to build up the nail bed area. Now it's time to make the spiral nail. I have already glued a straw underneath my extended nail bed. And now I'm going in with a silver acrylic powder and applying it around the straw. Next I'm applying glitter on top of the silver spiral and this is the same mix that I used on my index nail. I'm not applying the glitter too thick because I want a little bit of the silver to show through from underneath and I'll also be encapsulating this in clear acrylic which will add strength and thickness to the spiral nail. I've already encapsulated the nail bed area on my spiral nail and now I'm encapsulating the spiral and I'm not applying the clear acrylic too thick because I want the spiral to be even with the nail bed area and I'm also not applying the acrylic too thin because that will increase the chance that the spiral will break but just enough acrylic to add strength and thickness to the spiral nail. Once the acrylic is dried, I pry off the straw with a cuticle pusher and I kind of twist it. I didn't show this when I was filming it because I was watching TV and I just wasn't paying attention, but you want to loosen the straw from the spiral with something that's thin that can get in between the spiral to loosen the acrylic from the straw. And then you just want to gently twist the straw until it loosens and you can twist it out. Now I'm going to clean up the spiral nail. I'm using a very fine and small drill bit. This is actually used for the cuticle area, but it's just small enough to fit in between the spiral. And I do this to refine the shape to file off any of the clear acrylic that got in between of the spirals. I'm 
move on to my middle nail and I'm applying a shimmery kind of a duochrome turquoise green blue shimmery acrylic powder to the tip on my middle nail and this will be the base for the mermaid scales. On my index nail, I add more of the turquoise glitter and I allow that to dry. And while it's drying, I move on to my thumbnail where I'm applying a fine .004 holographic silver. And on top of that, I will be applying a chunky glitter mix. The glitter mix that I'm applying now on my index nail, I mixed together myself and I used Glitter Heaven Australia's Holographic Purple, Holographic Turquoise, and Silverish. Now I'm going to make the 3D mermaid scales. These can be made directly on the nail, but I find it easier just to make them on a Ziploc bag, then place them on the nail. I pick up a small bead of the same acrylic I used on my middle nail and I place it on top of a Ziploc bag and I press it out. You want the bottom to be round and the top to go inwards and up to a point to create the mermaid scale. Before I place the individual mermaid scales on my nail, I wet the nail with a little bit of monomer so that the scales have something to stick to. I just keep making the mermaid scales and placing them until I reach the bottom of the nail bed area. I applied Easy Flow True Gel just to the nail bed area. I didn't apply it to the scales because I didn't want it to mess up the 3D effect. This gel top coat does leave a sticky layer and I remove it with 99% alcohol. I continue adding gel top coat to all of my nails and this is my usual gel top coat that I always use and I'm not sure of how it's pronounced. I'll put it on the screen but I usually get this from online beauty supply stores.